Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Long time no see. <laughs> well, I've been shooting videos. I'm looking at a property over here near the beach, but not that close. Five kilometers away from the beach, but close enough. Uh, I'm looking for looking at a property to buy. Found a really good deal, and I'm thinking about doing um, some gardening on it, using it to grow some food and do it for use it for campgrounds and barbecue parties, things like that. You know. Um, so I was checking it out. I was making posts. I was putting posts up on my uh, on uh, my Bear Tire Times uh, app. It's a social app for uh, you know for homesteaders. So I've been putting the videos up on there and uh, talking about that. And I thought, you know, what the heck? I'll talk about this to you guys. And I'll, I'll show you. Also, I'll put those posts that they put on uh, on Bear, Bear Tire Times. I'll put up on on this just to add some filler. It's pretty interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you. Know. You, uh, give you an update on my car. It's a little dirty, so I please excuse it. Um, I haven't washed it in a while. My car is four months away from being eight years of age, and uh, I paid it off. I, I paid off my car and I paid off my van. Uh, I took advantage of the, of the exchange rate that's going on right now between America and Japan, and uh, I had uh, I had some money wired to me, um, early inheritance a little bit, and. Um, not a lot, but because the exchange rate, it boosted it quite a bit. So it was enough to pay off the cars, pay off all my other little credit card debt I had, and even left over for this property I'm looking at. And they and I didn't get a lot. So good on the exchange rate, also just, yeah, good on everything. So, yeah, because I paid the cars off, because I have no debt, I have zero debt now except for my house loan. And that's, uh, what, less than nine years to pay off. Um, since that's going on, I felt like I can invest in this property. And I have the money for the property, I think. Um, it's a long story. You'll see it in the videos um, and the updates and stuff. But uh, they're asking a lot of money just to buy the property. It costs, the money they're asking, the, you know, the taxes and the agent fees and the, 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 to change the title over to me and everything, it's more than the properties. What they're asking for the property is ridiculous. Um, but I think it'll work out. Anyways, I'm gonna try to talk him down a bit. So anyways, let's update on the car. The car is almost eight years old and uh, it's doing pretty good. I didn't really need to charge, but I felt, I felt like I stopped here just to give you an idea of what's going on. Oh crap, I should have before I plugged it in. Ah, it was showing 140, 143 kilometers of range on an 80% charge. I charged up to 80% before I came out here. Yeah, it, I don't even remember what percentage it was at, but it was it was showing 143. All right, try again. Sorry about that. The stupid Bluetooth kicks right in. So yeah, it was showing 143 before I plugged it in. Sorry about that. I don't remember the percentage of the battery pack, but let's see what was what I, I did. An hour and a half of driving on that last charge, 80% charge, and uh, energy economy was 11.6 kilometers per kilowatt hour, which is excellent. And I don't know the percentage. Sorry about that. It's uh, 16 degrees outside right now. It's been, it's been beautiful weather. Uh, I got it to like 20, I think, for a high today. Um, when I was driving earlier, it was about 19 degrees. It's down to 16 now. The sun's going down. But uh, can't be happier with the car. So it's all paid off. The van is all paid off. And the van's doing great. I just took a trip. I took a big trip. Huge trip. I actually went to Hokkaido, but not in the van. That's next year. This year I went to Aomori, which is the northernmost uh, prefecture of the of what they call the Honshu, the, the main island of Japan. And uh, then from there I took a, a bullet train to Hokkaido that went underneath the ocean, underneath the Pacific, I guess. I don't know. Sea of Japan. I don't know what it's which sea <laughs> what it is, but it goes underneath the ocean and comes back up. And it takes less than an hour to get to Hokkaido from from there. It's pretty cool. If you take a ferry, it's about a four and a half hour trip to go to the same port. So, very fast. The bolt train was really cool. Um, another EV. <laughs> so, yeah, I went, we took a trip to Aomori this, uh, my, on my vacation uh, in October. I get, one, I get two weeks off in October. And I, uh, it was a four day trip. We took a four day trip. We, we could have done it longer, but we were done. <laughs> so, we got it home. Um, but we had a blast and uh, we hit all the prefectures so we hit all the prefectures north of Chiba every one of them because we went we kind of did a circle it was really cool 
So we went through Fukushima. Let's see, did we hit the Ibaraki? No. Yeah, a bit of Ibaraki, Fukushima. Um, I can't remember all the names, but we hit every one of them. It was a lot of fun. And we got to uh, Almori, had a blast. We, I even, uh, I shelled out the money. It cost three hundred dollars for both of us to do a round trip tickets to uh, to go to Hokkaido and back just for a day. But we we didn't pay anything for fuel for the van, no fuel, and also we camped in the van quite a bit. We did stay one night in a hotel that was awesome. It was a cheap hotel. Well, call it a hotel, but I mean, I've seen bigger motels. It was a small room, but it did have a, a nice continental breakfast, um, all you can eat breakfast, very nice. And like I said, I'll put some videos of that. I'll show. I'll, I'll make another video later of that if you want to see. It. I didn't shoot video to make a video of it because my wife wanted privacy on this trip. She's like, finally we can, you know, since my last video, she's like, oh, then we can take a trip and do a private trip. It's like, okay. But I did, of course, for us, I shot video and stuff, and so I can share some of those videos with you. It was a massively awesome trip. Almori is famous for their apples, and we bought apples like just huge apples, and they were so sweet delicious fresh picked off the tree like minutes ago it was really cool just a wonderful trip and uh yeah i mean it was crazy we found freeways all the highways north of um how did you how, starting probably what does it start about uh yamagata starts in yamagata all the highways are free basically and so we were just cruising in the van it was going so fast that we had to make a lot of stops so the temperature started going up on the on the battery because we were charging more often because we were flying you know but i covered good ground in a lot in a quick time so i was able to get from my house to um, akita prefecture which is just below aomori um i got there within eight hours which is really good for you know electric car and also just for any car um no not eight hours that's too quick i take that back it was not eight hours maybe 13 or 14 hours i'm sorry eight hours is that's that's a different trip no no it was because it's like 17 hours to get to Elmo. so i think it was like 13 or 14 hours to get to Kita. um but it was it was just a blast it was a blast of a trip lots of fun and uh so i'll make another video for that if you guys are interested in that but uh yeah it feels good to get the debt paid off get the cars paid off and now i have an extra over a grand over a grand in my pocket every month now i can put towards other things that are more you know getting prepared you know things are getting crazy out there especially the, the writing's on the wall with the way the exchange rate is going right now it's, this is a 40-year high over here with the exchange rate which is not good and um so things are going to get pretty hairy who knows when i don't know i can't i can't say when i mean the 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 powers that be that you know, at the federal bank, you know, the Fed, the feds and, uh, um, you know, in, uh, in, 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 how am I trying to say it? I have to try to say this very carefully. <laughs> okay. The Fed, the Federal Reserve, the people of the, the powers that be at the Federal Reserve and other banks, other big, big banks like JP Morgan and stuff, they're clever and they can, they can, they've been, they've been keeping this economy going, this debt, this, this fiat currency going as, as long as they have they have a few more tricks up their sleeve i'm sure but it's getting closer and closer and it's like i feel like it's on a junkie's last high like they're taking one last hit of something to make the to keep the dollar up and then it's just gonna collapse i think so now's the time guys to prepare because who knows it could happen this year next year 10 years from now but it's going to happen eventually so let's start preparing let's let's get let's get our debts paid off biggest thing is get your debts paid off after that you can focus on other things uh, also try to no matter what space you have you can grow your own food start growing your own food because it will help food prices are outrageous out there outrageous so grow your own food if you have a patio put some planters out kitchen kitchen tomatoes i mean every little bit helps on on your budget right so come this next spring start growing some food uh, plant a garden uh, every little bit helps I'm not trying to be preachy. It's probably coming off that way. I, I, I apologize for that. I'm just saying, first things first is, let's not get in any more debt. It, the hour is late, my friends. The hour is late with this with this economy that's going on worldwide. And uh, for your protection, and I'm just 
I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm saying it would be best if you didn't have hardly any loans left. I still have my house loan. I'm, I'm stuck with that for eight and almost nine years. So, I mean, I still got that. I can't get rid of all my loans, but I did get rid of all my other stuff. So, that's cool. And I hope you guys will follow suit. Um, no, don't buy any cars, man. These, this leaf is eight years old almost, and I'm getting 143 off an 80 percent charge. This thing, when it was new, would have gotten probably close to about 160 kilometers, about 100 miles on an 80 percent charge in this country. I'm getting 143. That is not bad. I mean, I lost a little bit of kilometers there, but it's not a problem. I'm not having any trouble. I'm never having to charge 100 cent when I go any place. There's plenty of charges everywhere, and uh, because it's the Leaf, it's made for air cooling. It's, the battery doesn't get as hot as quickly as the van, which is nice. Um, it's doing great. Plus, our van, it did great, too. I, I only got up to nine segs on the temperature, which is not bad. I was, I was getting close to the hot, you know, the, you know danger area, but it, it, I, I, kept it, I kept it at bay so, on that trip. So even the van did great, and my wife is just loving it. So when we paid them off, she put that in her name, I put this in my name, and now we've got his and hers cars. Uh, she just loves the van. She just absolutely adores it. Um, she had so much fun this last trip, and now we're planning on taking the van. We're going to go by ferry. We're going to get to go back. We're going to drive all the way up to Almore again, and then jump on a ferry, and then we're going to drive around Hokkaido in the, in the van for next year's trip. But, and I might, I might, it's going to be, that's so big that, I'll probably make a video of that just to show how to what a nine-year-old van can do, uh, or eight, sorry, eight-year-old van can do uh, on a trip like that, that size. The van will be eight years old at that time. The car will be pushing nine by that time. So this car is about a half year older than the van. So, anyways, yeah, uh, awesome, awesome car. If you have to buy a car, I, I, you know, look for something used. Even as old as this car is, it's doing great. I mean, it's, oh, I need to stop. <laughs> so to stop a charge when you're, if you don't have the thing turned off, you just go here and it says long life, 80%, just click that and it'll stop the charger for you. And uh, yeah, there you go. 82%, which is fine. 82 is actually 81 really. Just like 81 is really 80. Kind of, it's kind of, if you look at the, least spot you'll see the true you'll tell you the true uh, charge and uh yeah so anyways awesome i am down to 10 segs but honestly the range has not faltered that much especially i have over 2,000 charges on this car i can i'll post i'll put the the screenshot of least buy i got over 2,000 charges on this car you know between uh quick charges and level two charges and it's doing so good i have no problem going anywhere I have no problem going anywhere. I'm 50 kilometers away from my house right now. Wasn't a problem. I, I left the house with the charger. I was like, it was at 35%, I think, when I left the house. So I did charge up once on the way, and but it'll be plenty to get me home. And I could have gotten home. I charged up here just to talk to you guys and show you the stats and stuff. I Like an idiot, it's been so long. I should have stopped. I shouldn't have charged yet. I should have started to charge before I talked to you guys. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, the car... Yeah, the car's amazing. It's doing great. I can't, I, I can't, I can't say enough about it. And I know America's much larger and a used leaf it might be a little more difficult, but you guys have options over there that I don't have either. Also, you can buy a used leaf for pretty cheap and then put in like a, find a, 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 a 40 kilowatt hour battery from a, from a broken down, um, not broken down, but a wrecked uh, second gen leaf and you can pop those in. There's, there's, they've got shops all over America that'll pop those in for you. Uh, Japan, because the regulation stuff, a little more stricter, I, it's hard to find those kind of things over here. So I'm stuck with, if I want to replace the battery, it'll be um, a 24 kilowatt hour battery, again, most likely. I would love to go 40 next time, just get, just for the longevity. It gives you, it gives you more, uh, more years on the car. I don't care about the range so much. I have no problem. I have no problem going anywhere in this car, in this country with this car. So uh, it's not the range I care about so much. It's the longevity. But I mean, this car is going to go 10 years on this battery pack. So if I have to buy another 24, it's fine. But when this car is 20 years old, I mean, I think it's about time to retire it anyways. 
by then there'll be uh, tons of other great cars used cars like you know six seven year old used cars out there on the market that i can afford so yeah buy used if you have to buy a car that's what i'm trying to say a long long way all right guys i'm gonna let you go i got to head home now so i'll talk to you again later This is hard to do. Uh, how y'all doing? This is, uh, I just want to say, I'm, I'm recording on Sunday, and, uh, and uh, <laughs> it's hard to do because I'm in an unfamiliar area, and I'm just really kind of excited. Uh, I want to talk about uh, something I'm, I'm looking at right now. If you guys can see this, it's a big mess. Really big mess. <laughs> But it's a property I found, and it's a kind of a crazy good location. So it's, it's a cul-de-sac. Um, this house is straight back from the from the cul-de-sac. So the main road is there where that car just went by. It's the main road, and you come down this side road. You got this little cul-de-sac. There's an empty lot over here, and there's an empty lot here. And I found this for a really good deal around. I mean, not right now with exchange rate the way it is, but if it was 100 yen to the dollar, it'd be 2,000 US dollars for the property. It's a little bit overwhelming to look at the, the amount of weeds and bamboo I have to cut through to clear it. It was clear three years ago. That's how fast the stuff grows. The guy cleared it. The owner cleared the lot once to put up for sale, and it's been sitting for three years. He started at 10 grand. He's down to 2,000 now. And the location is just incredible. Um, about a kilometer away, easy walk is the beach. And about three kilometers that way is downtown Togane. So really nice area uh, of Chiba. And the land is very fertile. There's farms all over. In fact, there's a farm right behind here. So the beauty of this location is there's a farm right behind. There's another farm behind it, behind the back of the lot, like behind that house as well. There's a farm over there. In between the farm and my property, the property I'm looking at is an aqueduct for the farmers and stuff. So it's it's pretty private. It's a great location. If I want to hand it off to my son, which I plan to, he could build a house here. And uh, <laughs> it's a really nice location if he's like into surfing and stuff or anything. It's, it's, it's a real hip area. Like if you go on the main street, all the houses on the main street are just really nice nice houses and um second houses or or main houses and it's a vacation area kind of and um so yeah i found this and i would like to get this but it is overwhelming looking and uh so i'm calling out calling to any uh bears in the area in the in the chiba area or hopefully in the greater tokyo area that can help and uh because i would like to use this as almost like a, a Airbnb for bears. So like if I can clear the land out, I'm gonna have a camping area and uh, anybody is in the area, they can camp here. And uh, you, you can't squat, but you can camp. And uh, yeah, I'll have, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get some water going. I don't have any water right now. I have to see what it's gonna to cost to install water, um, but there will not be any toilets, but there's luckily uh, less than a kilometer over there, there's a walking distance, there's a convenience store with 24 hour toilet. So there you go. So that's the idea, the plan. I'm also going to have a garden here. Um, it's, it's, it's okay size property. It's not too bad. It's uh, for Japan, it's not bad. And in fact, they don't even sell them this big anymore in the new properties. Um, this is an older, older area. So the property is still pretty big. Uh, it's about 38 Japanese subo. So what is that? It's over, I think it's over 200 meters squared. So it's, it's not bad. It's not great, but you can put a house and enough for two car parking and even, well, it's equivalent to like this house here. That house has got two car parking. He's got a bit of a yard and he still has the house. So it's like that. It's about that size. You can't see it because <laughs> it's just all, it's just all overgrowth, all overgrowth. So uh, yeah, any bears out there? that can give me a hand because I, I i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> i could use any help so uh hit me up hit me up on this app okay thanks bye Five kilometers.
Cruz. <laughs> you're gonna have to zigzag a little bit. The road it comes because of T section. The main road I pointed out earlier because of T. So you have to turn off the right and zigzag around to get over to the beach. But yeah, it's about five kilometers away, which is actually better. That's even perfect. So it's like a 15 minute bike ride or a 20 minute bike ride. And uh, that's great. Awesome. It's an ocean right behind the Pacific. Beautiful beach. And beach as far as the eye can see, basically. <laughs> That's awesome. I would have parked closer. <laughs> I, I had to walk here from a restaurant. <laughs> uh, they don't offer any uh, free parking around here. Okay, I'm not staying here that long to be worth paying for. So, yeah. Beautiful. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's all rejoice and be glad in it, right? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful today. Yeah, the location is just crazy. It's like um, really nice seafood restaurants right here. I uh, got a highway. There's a highway. You can see a car going by right now. There's a highway right there. Um, very inexpensive highway. Uh, if you get in the, if you get on to the right spot, it's free, and it'll take you right down to. Uh, uh, well, it gets me over to the southern tip of Chiba pretty quickly. Um, if I go that direction, I think it'll take me to Choshi, which is right on the edge of uh, between Ibaraki and uh, Choshi. Waiting for this guy. He's just like, that guy was staring at me. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> don't know what that was about. People freaking out about my hat. <laughs> I use that so I don't burn. Oh. Check out this giant door. That's for tsunami. That's the tsunami door. There's a tracks it runs across and phew, it'll lock up, block the tsunami. The idea is to block it pretty well from these houses and restaurants here. So, wonder if that works. I don't think I've tried it. That's pretty new. <laughs> they, had a, they, they had a small tsunami here back in that big 2011 earthquake. It wasn't anything like Miyagi Ken or Miyagi, Miyagi Prefer. Yeah, Miyagi Ken. It wasn't anything like them. But they did have a small tsunami in it. It took out a lot of, like around here, about to here, a lot of houses and stuff. So anyways, here's that rush I was telling you about. I think I'm going to go in here and check it out. Banya. Should be pretty good it's pretty famous so that's pretty cool so if you just go straight up that street basically where that car those cars are coming from straight up that street and uh then you zigzag just a little bit you'll get to that property i showed you and uh yeah and then like i said three kilometers the other three kilometers going that direction again past the property will get you to downtown togane which is pretty cool lots of main shopping areas and grocery stores and hardware stores and you know all that stuff so pretty cool anyways yeah let's check this out it looks pretty pretty good although i'm not a i'm not a shellfish i don't like shellfish is there specialty shellfish that looks like shellfish to me doesn't it yikes let me put it back take the zoom off i have to put the zoom back on See, I don't, I'm not a big clam person. Ooh, that does look good in the middle. Magro, there's Thai, shrimp. Shrimp I'm okay with. Ikura I could do without. All right. Okay, so they have other things besides sh shellfish, I hope. Well, I'll try it out since I'm here. And I used their parking so I could show the beach. I should at least buy something from them to be kind. Anyways, talk more later. Oh. I ended up getting the clam chowder after all. I don't like shellfish, but clam chowder, I can go for. That was incredible. A little pricey, but well worth it. Wow, that was good. Oh, I'm full. Fish and chips, basically. I had uh, french fries with that as well. Um, I'm going to come back, I think, with my wife, show her this place. She was going to love it. That's, this, that was really good. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's get back to the property. So, the property is 2000 but it's not really 2000 after taxes and Asian fees and, and title changing and everything, it, it becomes $5,000.
and I don't like spending three thousand more than the property's value. Well, it's, va it's actually valued higher, but you know, current value. Huh. But I can't pass that up. Property is usually not that cheap, especially for like this kind of. The property is really, to me, it's really great, great location. Um, five kilometers, almost exactly five kilometers away from the beach. Three kilometers from downtown. Right, you know, you don't have much for neighbors, just one neighbor basically, and the rest is all farmland. Um, so this can be great for making a, um, making a, 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 a farm, you know, a little, little uh, homestead. Also, I'm gonna make a campground as well. And like I said, any bears out there that are traveling in Japan and they want some place to stay, they, if they have their own tents and stuff, they yeah, set up shop there, you can. Um, Everything's pretty close. I mean, you can walk. I mean, of course, bicycle would be best. I'll see if I can get some, hold some bicycles I can leave there for, got, for people to use, uh, including myself. So, yeah, I got a lot of work to do, though. I first have to clear it all out. Then I have to, you know, I'm going to have to make a cement slab. I've never done that before, so I'm hoping to get help on that. So, Bears, anybody out there, please give me help if you can. I much appreciate it. And, of course, I'll return the favor somehow. All right.